Hi everyone, I hope you are all safe and sound. Over the years, I have treated many people with acne, ranging from mild symptoms to quite severe. I am happy to say that for many of them, I have been able to help improve their skin, making it healthier and happier. So today, I am going to share with you some tips as to what you can do to overcome a skin condition that affects so much of us. Acne comes in many forms. Whiteheads, blackheads, pimples, cysts are all types of acne. Regardless of what types of acne, the treatment takes time and patience. But the sooner you treat the acne, the better it is for your skin. Avoiding it becoming widespread, which causes scarring as well as physical and emotional pain. My first important advice is cleansing. Acne develops when our pores get clogged up with dead skin cells, excess oil, and dirt. So, in the early stage of acne, it's important to deep cleanse. But be careful, do not over scrub when you cleanse because it can irritate the condition. Some of my clients ask me if it's better to use a face cloth, an ultrasonic brush, or other electrical device to reduce acne. My simple advice is no, because when you're over rubbing your face forcefully in a long period of time, not only you destroy, damage the skin barrier, but it makes it less hydrated, dry out your skin, and worsen your acne. So do not wash your face more than twice a day. Always rinse off with warm water. I personally prefer oil-based cleansers. They allow you to massage, deep cleanse, and without stripping its oils. Massage helps activate the metabolic function of the skin, improves circulation. It also clears away the dead skin cells, all the dirt and grime, and leaving your pores lovely and clean. My second biggest no is touching your face. There's a lot of bacteria on our hands. So touching your face only spreads bacteria further into your pores, causes inflamed and irritation, which only worsens your acne. I know when we have a pimple, we are tempted to squeeze it, thinking it can heal faster. But you are more likely to push the infected material further into your skin, which will lead into redness, swelling, or even scarring. So leave this temptation and um pleasant job for professional to treat. You will have less risk of scarring and infection. My next important one is oil. Our skin needs both oils and water to look its best and prevent breakouts. Many people think oily skin causes acne, but in fact, in my experience, most adolescent acne start with dehydrated and dry skin. Unlike teenager, Usually, it's an excess of oil. Doesn't matter which type of skin, you should not be afraid of using dry or light oil, which are easily absorbed and do not clog pores. I like rose hip seed oil, sea bath oil, walnut oil, or sweet almond oil. You can dab in the affected area or lightly over the face. This oil do wonder to your skin. Next one is medication. Many of my clients have been using anti-acne medication. Turn up skin is extremely dry, flaky, sometimes even peeling. That's because most anti-acne medicines are harsh and they aggressively treat the symptom, not the cause. Once treatment stops, the acne will return. In my opinion, medication is not for everyone. With a more natural approach, Acne can be controlled and managed. And then there's our best friend, the sun. We all know how wonderful the sun makes us feel. It makes us feel happy. And we get a beautiful sun kiss glow after a holiday. Yet, many people experience post-holiday breakout. The reason is due to applying thick sunscreen, which tend to block your pores, cause acne flakes up. Remember, every spot, every pimple starts with a clot pore. On the other hand, sunscreen is a great form of protecting against harmful UV rays from the sun. 
So I suggest use a sunscreen that designed for any prone skin. They can be more expensive, but they are worth it. On top of this, finds a lovely hat wear, makes you look gorgeous. Walk in the shade if you can, and try to do your sunbathing before 11 a.m. or after 4 p.m. As we all know, the causes acne can come in many things in our everyday lives, such as hormonal, lack of sleep, emotional stress, foods that contain so much sugar and dairy, or environmental factors. Despite all this, I have seen acne can be defeated with patience, discipline, consistency, and being kind to yourself. I hope you find this helpful. Leave comments if you have any questions and please subscribe. Take care and see you next time.